Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. Yeah, I got the camera set up in front of the monitor because it's a nice podcast of The Legend of the Traveling Tardis at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, where we'll be discussing... We'll be discussing, too. We'll be discussing and discussing... Talk about not pop music, but Doctor Who, of course. Series 1, The Unquiet Dead. The league is complete. But for now, I need a snack. I already got a clean. Didn't really buy anything today, so let's go over the snack bin. So I pulled this one out. It expires next month, so might as well start in this one. Kit Kat Blueberry Muffin. Blueberry Muffin. Focus. There we go. Kit Kat Blueberry Muffin. My little plastic bin smells so much chocolatey. Smells so chocolatey. Oh, I know it fell over. When I moved the camera, Vader fell over. Give me a break. I'm For some reason he keeps falling over. He doesn't he doesn't want to stand. Stand, you yeah. Okay he did. Okay, he did it again, okay. So stand there till I finish the show. <clears throat> stand in the place where you for it now. Okay. So, Kit Kat Blueberry Muffin. Naturally and artificially flavored crispy. Sorry. Crisp wafers and blueberry muffin in flavored creme. Creme. Uh, total 20 grams of sugar, including 18 grams additional sugars for some bizarre reason. Because you can't have a total. You can have your total... But then they're going to include some more. Some more added stuff. Like what total means total means that's it. Not supposed to be, oh yeah, we're including other stuff to it. Like charging sales tax on top of shipping. Now that's the BS. So this BS stuff, you know, with a little, oh yeah, it's total, but we're including some extra stuff in there that you don't really know about. So it's 36% sugar, 220 calories, Total fat is 15%, but you add the saturated fat, which makes 35%, and trans fat, which is zero. So it's not the total. We just add more to it. Yes, you know. American BS. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Sugar, vegetable oil, palm oil, shea oil, sunflower oil, Palm oil, sorry, palm kernel oil, and or safflower oil. Wheat, flour, skim milk, corn, syrup, of course, lactose, <sniffs> milk. Well, really? Lactose and milk are the same thing? Oh, who knew? Contains 2% or less of chocolate. Graham flour, natural artificial flavors, and all the other crap. Um... Molasses, baking soda, yeast, honey. There's honey in them Kit Kats. Tasty much sweeter than wine. Yeast. Contains milk, wheat, soy. Manufactured in a facility that processes peanuts. Oh, thankfully I don't have a peanut allergy. I'm allergic to something, my skin breaking out. I broke into my other doctor, Dr. Sasquatch soap. So I was able to get th three of them. Four of them. 
I have two left, and I use I have four of them. I use the Yoda one first. I'm on the Darth Maul one. Very sinister. We will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. Yeah, you'll smell the blueberry. You can taste the blueberry. It's kind of weird. Funky. Interesting. It's a it's a unique Q flavor. If you like blueberries, it'll hit you. Like a slap in the face. Yeah, more of a slap in the face, not so much a kick to the groin or anything. You took my purse. Ooh. I don't know you. Ooh. Yeah. Dang it, Bobby. Ooh. But Dad, this place has four types of ketchup and three types of catsup. Might as well finish it off. Definitely aftertaste of blueberries, so I'll eat two at a time just to finish it. I guess I have you a blueberry lover. Blueberry muffin lover. I love the muffins. Yeah, you can you imagine it, you know. Your imagination. That you can taste the muffin. For the blueberry muffin lover, see if you can find the Kit Kat blueberry muffin. <clears throat> I'm not absolutely crazy about it. I like it. I personally wouldn't get it again because I'm always regular chocolate. Chocolate. But uh, flavor aside, it's uh, definitely a Five out of five in flavor. And ten out of ten flavor, yeah. Textures of Kit Kat, so it's always good. High scores there. So I had it. I'm okay with it. It's not my thing. So I don't again it's, it does taste very good. Tastes like a blueberry muffin. And eat enough of it, you'll get the muffin top. As you eat blueberries on the hill. Like the fool. That I am. Sitting on a hill. I'd rather eat red or blueberries myself. But. This time, don't let my opinion get to you. It's, it does taste like a blueberry muffin. I'll repeat that. Go for it. If you like blueberry muffins, go for it. If you want to try a taste of it, it tastes good. It's just not my thing. So, I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10. If I was offered to me, yeah, of course I'll eat it. It's not like I was just, oh, here's something obscurely poisonous. I'm, you can eat it? Hell no. no. It's an enjoyable treat. It's interesting. Taste of a blueberry muffin Kit Kat. But would I go and buy it again? No. That's... Uh, I'm okay with it. So, did my microphone freeze? Let's see. 
Let me see. Well, I'm going to end this video and. Uh, Okay, my keyboard still works, so if you can't hear me, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, you know, as usual. Time waits and turns slowly. I'm not going to redo this video, just straightforward.